All right, what's good, everybody? I want to jump straight into this, dog. College football 24. I really want to talk today about some really important features that I haven't seen really discussed that I would really love to have in the game. And I feel like is if, if, they're, if they're put in the game, this is going to be really awesome. Something that was really kind of missing, in a sense, from NCAA 14. First off is... Of course, the ability to create uniforms. Now, a lot of this is from like the team builder site that used to be up for NCAA. But as opposed to having it as a separate website, I would like for them to have it in game. And with the power of PlayStation 5s and even PlayStation 4s, because the last college football game was on a PlayStation 3, like they have the capability to really give us a lot of creative depth with uniforms. And the reason I feel like uniforms are important for this next college game is because college football uniforms are so they, they uniforms have become a part of college football. Like if you watch college football, you know, you're going to see somebody with some fire uniforms. You know what I'm saying? It's not like the NFL where they kind of have the same uniforms all the time. College is really innovative in having, you know, stylish uniforms, attractive uniforms like the chrome helmets and, and the special uniforms for special occasion games and things like that. Not only that, but if they do do it as a separate like website thing like they did with Team Builder and you can load it in, I think that would still be cool because then you could really put more options for uniforms in the game, but you can also open it up to have um, the community files. That's something that would be coming to the game, having the community files to where, hey, you see this person made a really cool uniform and you like it, you could download it to the game for your team or whatever. I think that would be crazy dope. I really love Team Builder, but I didn't like the uniform. Cre the uniform creation did have some depth, don't get me wrong, but there wasn't just like that uniqueness. Like if I was playing with Florida State, you know, they're the Seminoles. You want a tomahawk, something like that. Like you couldn't put something like that into the uniforms. Oregon with the ducks and the feathers. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm playing with the Longhorns, I, you know, there needs to be some creative element, some more depth to the unit. They had something really cool there, but it, it, it still lacked that super creativity because at the end of the day when you made uniforms and team builder they were pretty basic uniforms compared to what the uniforms they were actually wearing in college football like at the time oregon ducks was coming out with some phenomenal uniforms and still are you know oklahoma state has some fire uniform combinations maryland you know so definitely go more in depth with the team builder i don't know as far as the uniform creation i don't know you know what platform they would use Honestly, I don't care if they did it as an online type of thing or if they did it as an in-game type of thing. You know, um, I, I just I want it in the game. I want more creativity with the uniforms and stuff like that. Please, EA, more creativity. You, If you give us uniform creation, you have to give us more awesome designs and creative designs with that. You know what I'm saying? That has to be there. Like, you, you have to do that. I don't, I don't see how you could do that and give us something like this that would make people extremely upset or even the uniform creation in madden is very basic like don't give us that people are going to be highly ticked off if you give us uniform creation and then make it dull and empty you can't do that so next up i want to talk about is stadium creations and renovations so this goes into more of wanting like a uh, kind of like in Madden where you could play as a player or a coach or you could be the owner. They need to add in college where you could be the player, the coach, or you could be the athletic director. And if you're the athletic director, you can set prices. You can renovate the stadium and stuff like that, guys, because with the licensing agreement, you're going to be selling jerseys with the players' names on them. Like, that's going to be really cool. So you can do all that kind of stuff. But the stadiums, man, college football – has gone into a boom of upgrading and renovating stadiums. Now, in NCAA 14, the better your team played, you get a star for your facilities, but you never saw your facilities. Wouldn't it be awesome is whatever school you play for, you actually got to kind of see the facilities. Or, hey, if you played so well 
uh, then your school was offered an upgrade. Hey, you, you've been you ha you've been having great success with your season or ticket sales have been really good. The finances are there. The booster support is there. You know, you won over support for the boosters, which I'll kind of do a video about that, like boosters and things like that. Now you can build a bigger stadium or you can do renovations and add on to your stadium. Say you start with this small school and they only got stadiums on both sides and you renovate to give them a horseshoe or a bowl stadium, like add turf to the field, redesign the turf, like things like that need to be in the game because it's going to provide freshness for your program. If this is a game that you're going to want people playing for the next total year, I mean, how many seasons? You could play a ton of seasons in one year. You see what I'm saying? And even having it carry over into future renditions of the game, yet and still, I would be more inclined to stick with one team if I had the ability to, okay, I'm starting to get bored with this. Let's change it up. Hey, let's create. So let's get some new uniforms, you know what I'm saying? Or let's renovate the stadium. Not only that, but you can have it to where the recruits actually, uh, like your uniforms is actually something that the recruits like. Like the uniform, the, uh, what would we call that? Like the, the team look, or there could be an attribute for like your team overall, like style, like the uniforms, the stadium, the facilities, you know, kind of rebrand that and put that as a statistic because some kids do like, hey, hey I, I love this college, but I don't like them uniforms. I love this college, but I, I don't like they stadium, bro. So make it to where, you know, maybe that's a thing that you can pitch in recruiting. Hey, we got some awesome uniforms. We get in a brand new stadium where we're upgrading the turf. We're upgrading the locker room. Things like that. Facilities actually was a thing that some recruits were interested in. That would help you to get more recruits. They need to make it to where... The stadium does the same thing, and also with uniforms. I think adding this combination of things would really add to the depth of uh, the college football game whenever it comes back. As far as franchise or dynasty mode, my bad. It's called dynasty mode. Um, and then, like I said here, being able to renovate the stadium, uh, seeing the cost, you know, because let's be honest, at this point, college football, we know it's a business. And with the players getting the NIL agreements and things like that, no reason to hide the money. And it's not an NCAA game, so technically you could put that kind of stuff in there because you're not held by an NCAA license. But, you know, allow us to um, adjust the, the – if we're the athletic director, you know, change the pricing and things like that. Because let's be honest, these schools got to raise money. They got to raise revenue. And the more people you get into those games and fill in those seats, the more revenue you have, the more boosters you have – you know what I'm saying? And the more money comes into the program that you could do things like new uniforms or you could do things like upgrading the facilities or a new weight room or something to that effect. Like, I think that would be crazy, crazy dope. And then lastly, something they could take from what's in Madden now, and it goes more into the athletic director role, is adjusting like the jersey sales, guys. The likenesses are going to be in the game, so you're going to be able to sell jerseys. Now they can sell jerseys where they could anyway with – uh the players names on the back you know what i'm saying that would be really really cool to be able to adjust prices of that kind of stuff and things like that like overall i feel like just adding that element of depth giving more depth to the cut jersey customization allowing us to renovate our own stadiums not relocate not rebuild like you can rebuild it if you want to if you got the funds, but if you don't have the funds to rebuild, maybe you have the funds to renovate and you can add turf to a grass field or you could change a grass field to turf. You can add a new end zone, design a new uh, section of the stadium or something to that effect that can change things, rebuild the weight room, have a different practice facility. Like those things need to be in the game. And I think they'll add a ton of depth, but also adding it to where you could be the athletic director and set prices and things like that, raise revenue for your school. This is going to add more depth to actually playing because now, yeah, you're playing to win championships, but you also want to play well enough to fill the seats so that you, you're bringing in more money for the program. I think that that's an amazing idea. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Guys, I'm excited for college football. We're going to continue to cover this game and going to continue to talk about different things I feel like they could add to the game to make it an amazing game. So if you're interested in that, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you don't miss any notifications and follow us on all social media platforms, man. That's all I got for right now, man. Y'all have an awesome day. Till next time, thanks for watching.
Peace.